today we're jumping into shark infested waters in South Africa, Thailand and Australia to prove to you that the monsters you think you know are actually one of the most misunderstood animals on planet Earth. And if you stay until the end of the video, you'll see a moment where something weird tries to attach itself to me underwater. And it wasn't a shark. Mr. Bradley and today we're learning all about sharks but before I begin please be sure to hit that subscribe button and get ready to do the starter questions on your screen now so let's start with one of the most dramatic places I've ever filmed before a shark cage in South Africa These sharks are called copper sharks. These are copper sharks, also known as bronze whaler sharks, and they are fast, powerful hunters known for their incredible sense of smell. Now, sharks already have one of the best noses in the animal kingdom. Their sense of smell is supposed to be so good that they can detect one drop of blood in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. And copper sharks take this to another level. They are famous for having an excellent sense of smell, even for being a shark. And they're one of the very few shark species that hunt in groups. Fun fact, did you know that a group of sharks is called a shiver? Now, copper sharks are known to be one of the top 10 most deadly sharks. But here's the thing, there has only ever been one person ever killed by a copper shark. So, in reality, sharks aren't monsters, they're a special kind of fish, and everything that makes a shark a shark is hidden inside their bodies. For example, our skeletons are made of bones, but sharks are built from cartilage. That's the same bendy stuff that's in your nose and ears. Cartilage is lighter than bone. That lets sharks move faster and glide through the water with almost no effort. Even their skin is different. If you rub one way, it would feel smooth. But if you move your hand the other way, it would feel like sandpaper. That's because sharks are covered in tiny tooth-like scales called dermal denticles, which help them to glide through the water quietly. It helps them sneak up on fish and escape from humans. Yes, you heard me correct. A lot of the time, sharks are scared of us. And to prove it, watch what happens when I try to chase down these black tip reef sharks in Thailand. Welcome to Koh Phi Phi Le, a popular tourist spot for its emerald water, towering cliffs and hidden lagoons. But we're not here for any of that. We're here to find sharks, specifically black-tipped reef sharks. Black-tipped reef sharks love these waters because they're warm, shallow and packed with small fish. The perfect hunting ground for fast, nervous little sharks. They're much smaller and way more nervous than the sharks in South Africa. They only grow to about 1.5 meters, which is the size of a small surfboard. These sharks rely on speed, camouflage and super sharp senses to detect vibrations in the water. Did you know that sharks have an extra sense? All those little dots on a shark's snout aren't freckles, they're tiny gel-filled sensors that can actually detect electricity in a beating heart. They're so sensitive that they can even find animals buried under sand. And one shark that uses a superpower more than most is the nurse shark. Here we are in one of the most famous underwater locations on planet Earth, the Great Barrier Reef, specifically Fitzroy Reef. The water here is ridiculously clear and home to nurse sharks. Nurse sharks are one of the chillest sharks of all. They don't chase anything, they just suck up food like vacuum cleaners. Nurse sharks spend most of their days lounging on the seafloor and when they finally do get moving, they're some of the slowest swimmers in the shark world. Nurse sharks, like all of the sharks featured in this video, give birth to live young. But did you know there are many species of sharks that can actually lay eggs? Well, 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 look at what we find here. This little thing might look like a, a bit of seaweed. Actually, it's nicknamed a mermaid's purse, and this is a shark's egg. Nurse sharks have tiny teeth designed for gripping rather than biting. But did you know sharks grow new teeth all the time? 
When an old one falls out, a brand new tooth from behind rolls forward to take its place. Kind of like a conveyor belt inside their mouth. But it wasn't the nurse shark that was the strangest thing I encountered that day. It was these. As I was swimming, looking for more sharks, these two big fish kept coming up to me and circling around me, brushing their heads against me. This is a remora. They are also known as a sucker fish. These guys can literally stick themselves onto sharks using a suction pad on their head. They clean scrapes, eat parasites, and basically get free rides around the ocean. And while I was filming here, two of them swam straight up to me. But they weren't interested in biting me, I think they were trying to attach to me. Imagine a fish trying to stick to your leg underwater while you're trying to film a YouTube video. Terrifying, hilarious and amazing. Sharks come in 500 shapes and sizes, from giants like the whale shark to tiny glow-in-the-dark species that live deep in the ocean like the lantern shark. They're not monsters. They're one of the most perfectly adapted animals on Earth and they are necessary for balancing our underwater ecosystems. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out more of the interesting and fun educational videos on my channel or head over to our website and download our resources that go along with our videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.